In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you a unique way to work with cover four quarters out of the uh, nickel 335 wide. What's up, guys? Well, my name is Cody, and I want to thank you so much for taking the time just to watch today's video, and I hope that today's video is helpful to you. Uh, we're going to be talking a little bit about how to deal with the trips tight end offense. One of the plays, in, a couple plays in particular, the first one is um, doubles and sale we're going to look into with X spot. We're going to look at PA counter go, and then obviously we're going to look at um, curl flat. Now, um, real quick, before we dive too deep into this, if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I upload new videos every single day that are designed to help you become a better Madden player. So if you're looking to get better at this game, um, basically my channel tries to post tips every day that share different pieces of insight, different things, different food to chew on every single day. And so if you want to get those videos, uh, all you got to do is just hit subscribe. And then really quickly, before we dive too, too far into this, I did want to highlight um, the 335 wide defensive ebook. Now that's the full ebook that I've released on the 335 wide. I've been running this defense since June and been adjusting and updating and navigating things. We just released that ebook, I believe, in February. And if you want to get that entire defensive guide, that is available for you for just 15 bucks in the description. So for just $15, you can get the best defense in the game. The defense that all the pros are using, the defense that you'll see ran in every tournament, and the defense that I believe is the hardest defense to consistently be able to move the ball against in this game. Because it has the ability to send pressure, stop the run, play match coverage, play zone coverage, play really, really good man coverage. So um, if you want to get that defense, that's available in the description. And if you have any questions about today's video, be sure to text me. My number is in the top left-hand corner of your screen. Okay, guys, so one of the things that I've been toying around with a little bit here is a base alignment defense. And the reason why is because the base alignment defenses to me are hard to read. Um, now, obviously, there's a lot of things that come with base aligning your defense, um, but basically what that means is your defense is going to look exactly the same before um, as it does in the play call menu. It's not going to change. So um, there is some things that you need to know about this. But anyways, I'm going to be talking about running a cover four match defense out of a base aligned look. So uh, real quick, I'm going to respot the ball. Now, um, the reason I am suggesting this is because if you think about field coverage, and I used to talk about this a lot in the early days of Madden, and then they made it so hard to run a baseline defense that I honestly kind of went away with, from it. But if you think about field coverage and the way a match coverage is supposed to work, you're going to have you know different points at which the field is covered. And really what we're talking about is dividing the deep sides of the field, the deep sections of the field, into four quarters. So I want you to look right now at your screen, and I want you to think about the play, um, this through the play, like curl flat, where we have a streak, and then we have a cross post route. If you watch this right here, what you're going to notice is you're going to see that it doesn't really, um, it doesn't really uh, add up sometimes with how this defense is going to play. So one adjustment that I would, would suggest that you make if you were doing something like this, obviously you're going to shift your line to the right. You're going to use your user, the middle linebacker. That's not a question. But the question is, what are you going to do other than those um, following things? So, for example, I would put two seam flats out there. I would throw a three red hook out there. And then obviously your guy is going to be kind of over the middle of the field. And I just want to show you um, kind of how these quarters are going to really play. And like I said, it's really going to divide the field. But you see the matching principles really do a pretty daggone good job. I mean, if you actually watch these match coverage, I mean, this this matching principle from a cover four quarters, because of the leverage of the formation, obviously it's going to make a lot of sense um, for the you know for the user to be able to go over here. Now, I'm just going to spy my user just so he gets out of the way. But obviously you would probably want to, user the you know the, the the post route right here but again the other beauty of this is the alignment of the formation of the 335 wide so for example um i could do something like this i could run a bluff blitz here obviously i want to have two seam flats but then the other thing is i could take this this square player right here amos and i could do a lot of different things with him one of the things that i could do with him is i could man him up on the circle receiver, I could man him up. Uh, and then when I did that, I could shade coverage inside. 
to help him play a little bit more inside. Now, obviously, I want to pass commit here, and I just want you to watch kind of how this works, but you're going to see he's just going to follow and get a nice press animation. Sometimes he'll win, sometimes he won't, and right there he was able to get open, but he's more in the area. Another route combination from Trips Tight End that I wanted to show you really quickly here um, is one that I think is going to give this defense a little bit of trouble, um, but I think it's really important to, to know that uh, going into it. You know, these are some of the things that could give it a little bit of trouble. Uh, and that's a doubles and sale. So if I run the, the traditional setup from doubles and sale, you're going to see the quarter defense um, is going to do a relatively decent job against everything except for that corner route. Now, the beauty of this defense is that you can obviously, you know, move things around. So, for example, if I wanted to, um, I could essentially play uh, essentially a cover two defense realistically of how it would work um, as far as dropping, dropping some zones that direction. Another thing that you will see here, though, is let's say that I throw this, let's say that I throw this guy on the left into a vertical hook, you know, and do something like this right here. Now, again, you know, doubles in sale is probably the one that's going to give this thing the hardest time just because of the fact that, um, you know, just just because of the of the fact of how the, the play works. But you see the safety is kind of going over there. I mean, he doesn't, obviously doesn't make the play, but he is kind of going in that area. Um, what you're going to find with this is if you can manually move these, these safeties into better positions. Um, so, for example... I think it helps a lot with the run if you move these safeties into the box just like this right here. Um, now, you know, what that really practically means out for everything else is it does definitely change the dynamic. But again, something like this right here could be relatively effective if you think about it from the lens of that doubles in sale because you've got a, a vertical hook out there that's going to climb up. You see he climbs, he climbs, he climbs, and now all of a sudden you've taken that corner right away because Adrian Amos is in that seam flat, right? These are not these are these are not um, zone drops. They're they're zone defaults. So the the zones are going to play differently, you know, based on who plays them and obviously where they're going to go. So you could obviously you know learn some things from that. Another thing that you want to know is let's say that they go to doubles and sale. If you look on the right side here, this corner route to the right side is not available at all. If they try to throw the corner route to the tight end, it's a pick six every single time. There's no possible way for them to consistently work at throwing that corner route. So really all you have to do if you're thinking about running a match defense is you just have to make sure that this left, this left side can work. And so uh, I think that this left side can work with the following adjustments that I just showed you with um, – with that vertical hook, if that vertical hook will just climb a little bit, um, unfortunately, you see the flat zone does hold these zones down a little bit. That's where, again, you know, maybe a seam flat isn't the right decision. Maybe it should be a curl flat. But, you know, again, like you could run, you could run soft squat logic, right? I mean, you could do something like that right there. And then as long as you have a vertical hook in that area, he's going to climb up the vertical if the guy goes deep. So now you could kind of bait them almost um, out of this quarter's defense into, you know, essentially uh, a bad situation. You know, the one problem with cover two, especially as it relates to, you know, a defense like cover four drop, especially when you're talking about base aligning it, is it does give you a little bit of trouble as far as the base alignment goes. But you'll bait them into that. Obviously, if you wanted to manually move this guy, you could do that. Um, you could move this guy out. You know, you could you could kind of move your guys around based off the situation because again, they're not going to change. Like if he moves into, let's say he goes to gun bunch. Now they don't change, right? And so what you might be thinking is, well, now they're misaligned. Well, yeah, but they're aligned in the area at which they're going to go to a zone coverage. So now you run this. And yes, you do have the crosser, but everything else is taken away. And that's where you can incorporate some of those 20-yard curl flats, 20-yard, 20, 20 to 30-yard cloud flats um, that you could kind of mix and match out of a cover four style defense. But the beauty of this is, again, what it can do to corner routes. Now, if you don't like, you could just unbase align, you know. But the gist of it is, you know, util utilizing these baseline features, I think, is super underrated. Um, I think people don't understand what baseline really does, and so they kind of stay away from it. But it basically just makes sure that the defense is going to be aligned the same no matter what happens. And so when the defense is aligned the same no matter what happens, 
you know, that allows a lot of freedom. It allows a lot of flexibility. There's a lot that you can do with that. Um, you know, because because re real reality is this offers a lot of disguise. Um, you could you could run you could be in Mike Blitz three and they not know it. You could be in man coverage even. Like watch this man coverage here. Now look, now you're in man coverage. You've got um, you know you've got safety help over the top, and now you know you have outside leverage in your man coverage on the right side. So let's say they run a um, let's say they run a, a doubles in sale corner route. Watch this. Now they don't know. Oh, it's man coverage. Oh, look at that. There's a pick. You see. So the baseline thing I think can really mess with people. Now what some people would say is, well, if I you know, and again, it, it's hindsight's twenty twenty, guys. But they're like, if I know that. You know, if I know that you're doing that, then I can just put the tight end on a drag and bam, right? Yeah, that's correct. That's correct. But you're not going to know. That's the beauty of base line. Base line is a is a way to play defense in which they're not going to know what you're going to do. You know, they're not they're not really going to know, especially if you if you manually move this weak side corner. If you manually move him outside here, and then let's say you audible to man coverage, you see he won't move. You see he won't move. Now, the press coverage, and the other thing that's really cool about this is you have inside leverage on every player. Every player you have inside leverage on. Every single player on the field, you have inside leverage if you run man coverage. So that's another thing that I think is really valuable because let's say, um, you know, let's say, let's say, okay, so you're, you're man coverage, right? And let's say you man this guy up here because you don't want to use rim, right? And you're going to shade coverage inside and underneath, obviously, and then you're going to use her over the middle of the field. Well, watch what happens here to this this post route to Devontae Adams, one of the hardest post routes to stop, right? You can now take stuff like that away. You can take curl rounds away. You can take a lot of the popular things away because of the leverage. This this little adjustment here, um, you, will be some, you will be surprised at how well this does. The one issue is in something like this where um, – it doesn't always give you the right alignment. Like right there, you have two people guarding the same person. So you just have to manually fix that. But on the right side, that's who we want guarding them. Now they don't, this guy with him not moving, that's huge. Because if you're in default alignment, watch what happens. It changes everything. And now you have misalignment when it comes to man coverage. Because now your safety on the left side is guarding the running back. Anyone throws a wheel route, a flat route, anything, it's an automatic laser. It's 15 yards, good, goodbye, right? Now with base align, it almost helps your defense, especially in man coverage, because what happens is now they don't know if it's man or zone. They have no idea. They have no idea if it's man coverage, zone coverage, what it is. They just know it looks exactly the same. So you could be in something like this, and let's say that they run the play, um, for example, let's just use the PA, uh, PA shot post as an example, okay? So now they're running PA shot post, and they've got the streak there. And I want you to watch the the slot there. He's inside leverage. There's there's no there's no window because he's inside leverage. There's no place to throw it. So if you think about it through that lens, it can really tell. It can really help you a lot. I think um, base align I think is super underrated this year. Not very many people are using it, but it definitely can trick some people. Now, obviously, the biggest thing is the slot is still the problem. He's still the biggest challenge that you have. But if you understand it enough, you will be amazed at what you can do from this and what you can build. I mean, you the, on this left side here, as long as you three-rack on that back side, then what you can do on this other side here, this play side, is these two quarters, for whatever reason, they don't do what I want them to do. And I think it has to do a little bit with the alignment. But essentially what you're looking at here is I would take the tight end from Jackson's perspective. I would man him up. And then from there, what's going to happen is, like, let's say they run a, uh, let's say they run that route. What should happen is that corner should, should kind of go to him. As you see right there, it goes to him and you get the interception. So that's a little bit about the cover four quarters defense from a base alignment. Um, there's more to come on this. But I think that this is, could be an interesting thing down the future for you to test out against some formations. Um, you, will be a, you will be definitely surprised with how the defense plays. Um, you will definitely be surprised with what you'll be able to do from it, in my opinion. I think there's a lot of, um, a lot of power in this defense, and I think there's a lot that you could learn. So, um, anyways, all that to say, if you want to get the full defensive ebook, it shows you everything that you need to know about defense in the game. It's just 15 bucks. That link is available in the description. 
description. And if you're sitting here saying, well, I'd like to see a little bit more about it before I buy it, that's okay. We have a free sample for you available in my text messages. Um, all you have to do is text me and say, hey, I want to get that free sample. Obviously, it's not a public video to the to the world it's private to only people that text me so if you wouldn't mind texting me and just letting me know you'd like to receive that video then I will hit you back with a link to the video and real quick before we go if you have any questions you can also text me um, that's my personal cell phone number and I'll be able to hopefully answer or try to find an answer to any Madden question that you have thank you for your time today I hope you enjoyed the video and we will see you on tonight's stream and just a quick reminder, the 335Y defensive ebook is in the description.